One of the main roles of the Cayman Islands Regiment is to support the other emergency services. So we do a lot of training with our sister um, agencies such as the um, EMS, Emergency Medical Services, the Fire Service, uh, the RCIPS Air Operations Unit. And the reason for this is we have fantastic emergency services in Cayman. They do, they do a fantastic job 365 days a year. However, when there's a large emergency, having a reserve agency such as the regiment helps to bolster um, the, the aid they bring to the community. Um, such things as a, a mass casualty incident or a large migration incident or a large fire, having the support of, of the regiment is, is key when something like that happens. Uh, so the last couple of years we've been doing a lot of training and exercises with our sister agencies. We've done training with the fire service, so we've put all of our troopers through uh, basic fire instruction and that just helps them to understand uh, the roles of, of basic firefighting and being able to support in, in terms of a major incident. We've also done um, exercises and training with the EMS, the Emergency Medical Services. Uh, in particular, we had a simulated aircraft crash um, at Ern Roberts International Airport uh, last year, um, and that involved mass casualty uh, management uh, scenario. And, and that was an opportunity for the regiment to provide stretcher bearers, first aid, and also evacuation using our, our military ambulances. More recently, we have been running a course with the RCIPS Air Operations Unit, and that's to train a number of our uh, personnel in helicopter landing officer roles. And this is the ability to communicate with the helicopter from the ground, to be able to identify and clear and manage uh, landing sites, and then to be able to bring the helicopter in, uh, in terms of um, carrying out an evacuation from the ground. We were able to uh, carry out an exercise in February as part of our um, emergency deployment exercise and at that point we were doing um, air evacuations both RCIPS air units um, and ground evacuations with our own ambulances. It's key to be able to continue this joint training as we move into 2022 and 2023 we'll be training with the Cameron's Coast Guard um, in terms of uh, search and uh, rescue operations in the water um, and also fire EMS and continued operations with the RCIPS air operations unit. The other training that we're doing with our troopers is the uh, advanced medical training. This is where we train up um, a number of our personnel to be team medics um, in each of our troops so that we have that integral um, medical support for the regiment, but they're also available to support the EMS. And we'll be training those um, in emergency medical responder uh, techniques. Going forward, we look forward to working with our sister agencies as we continue to build the uh, capability of the regiment and help support the emergency services delivering resilience in Cayman.